All right, welcome to my Fortnite OG Battle Pass review. Check this out. It says, as a crew member, you've already unlocked this season's Battle Pass and other crew benefits. This is, I guess, the unique music. Normally, this screen is absolutely incredible, but this one's kind of bland. I'm not going to lie. Just the blue background and then the clouds, that's it. But we do got a nice remake of the OG music and the four main Battle Pass skins right there. So let's go take a peek and see what else has changed. I can't wait. Here we go. We're claiming it. OG Pass unlocked. Looks like we start with the Spectra Knight. There is honor in every knight. And we get five battle stars as well. So of note, even though this is supposedly a smaller battle pass, we'll see in just a second, it still costs the full price 950 V-Bucks and you can get up to 1,000 V-Bucks back just by completing it. So you spend 950, you get 1,000 back. All right, here we go. First of all, let's take a look at the front. Aha, so we got some rewards first. Crystal got a brand new style, Prismatic. Oh, it's animated on her shirt too. She has gray hair though. Then everyone apparently gets this free music pack. Everyone should get it, not just crew members as far as I'm aware. And it's copyrighted. What? That stinks. I'm going to have to play it and see what it sounds like. Maybe I'll do that on my own so I don't get in trouble. And then we got a challenge bundle? What is this for? Be the mastermind. I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look at the background. Look at that. The original background. Wow. That takes me back to 2017. That's when I started playing in October. Crazy. So let's check out the battle pass first and then we'll look at the item shop. So the screen looks similar to the past few seasons we've had. Nothing special about that. We got, let's go take a look. So there's only seven pages, which is smaller than normal. Looks like we got a loading screen to start, the Spectra Knight. We got the Spectra Protector. Okay, you know what? Let me change to my Maya skin real quick just so we can see things better. Okay, here we go. The Spectra Protector. Ooh, this one shows your banner, it looks like, because I've got the Battle Bus banner on there. It says, this shield has seen everything. Let's take a look real quick. Selectable styles. I'm certain that shows your banner. I'll change it to the Battle Bus to this grenade, and then we'll go back. All right, now let's look. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. We got a new Contrail, Shardfall. Wow, it's invisible, okay. Seriously, where is it? There it is. Okay, that's not bad. A spray, Knight's Honor. There's her yielding that shield. The Spectra Slasher. Let's see what that one swings like. Nice splash effect there. Probably a sweet contrail as well. The Spectra Kinetic. Hmm, that looks pretty cool, but doesn't appear to be animated or reactive. Flashback Breakdown. Says, you remember this, right? This is a good one because it merges like eight dances into one. And I think the music changes? Yeah. Look at all these emotes all in one. That's pretty cool. I like it. Then we got the Spectre Knight herself. There is honor in every night. Pretty sweet. Page two is Little Split. You can see some variations on the ATK right there. We got Welcome to the Split Show. It's not copyrighted. Here, I'll play it for a second so you can hear. Sounds like a nice original music pack. Pretty sweet. And we got the Nanner Bashers. These look like the ice creams that you get from the ice cream man, you know, where he drives by in his van and plays the music. Oh, look at the splash, though. That's pretty cool. It's banana chocolate. V-Bucks, 100. Oh, my goodness. Look at Peely Whip. That is awesome. I wonder if it's reactive. So Little Whip's back bling was just like that. It was a snow cone, and it was reactive. So this might be as well. We'll see. The Sunday Glider. That is just like Little Whip's glider. Someone takes a bite out of it and all. Oh, here's Little Split himself. So he's got the whipped cream on top. Gives a double thumbs up. Let's see his secondary style. Strawberry Little Split. Look at that. That looks more delicious than the first one. He's even got strawberry pants. I love it. Page three is another Little Split. 
Another loading screen. He's the Ice King there. That's pretty funny. We got the Matcha Nanner Bashers. Ooh. Including the Hot Fudge Nanner Bashers. Another Peely Whip back bling. Plus a Hot Fudge one as well. And then we got the Sunday Glider in the green form. And where's the Hot Fudge one? Okay, so a lot of styles. I like it. The Dessert Dropper. Whoa. Okay, well, that's not how it's supposed to look. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Then 100 more V-Bucks and the green little split. And here's the Hot Fudge one. Not sure about those glasses, though. Did he have those glasses in this other one? Hold on, I gotta look. No, he didn't. Okay, so he's got four total styles. Wow. So the matcha style is some kind of green tea. I've never had that in ice cream form, nor have I ever even heard of it. I had to Google it. That's kind of weird. Matcha. All right, moving on. Renegade Lynx, page four. That is a remake of one of the OG loading screens. I love that. The Renegade Rust Cat, every scavenger's best friend. So it's got a number on there. I thought that was a date, but it could just be a license plate number. It's 12 So maybe December 2nd, 97, or just, like I said, a license plate. We got a banner icon. We got the Raiders Wafer. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Got spikes and everything. Raiders return. Reactive, let's go. Let's see if we can trigger it here. Wow. Sound effects are sweet. Imagine if the gun sounded like that in game. Okay, nice reactivity. 100 V-Bucks. And here's Renegade Lynx herself. This is probably my favorite style. Not a big fan of the tail, but that's to be expected with Lynx. I love this though. Hair looks great. Renegade armor looks great. Pretty sweet. Moving on, page five, the Dark Storm Renegade Lynx loading screen. We got the Renegade's Heart Eyes animated. A Dark Storm glider here. This one's a little cooler in my opinion. Looks like it almost changes colors too. It does change colors, that's cool. Another 100 V-Bucks and then the Doze Dab. <laughs> Hits the sleepy dab and then falls asleep mid dab. <laughs> it says, rest your weary dab. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Then we got the scratch mark shredder. Again, it looks like it animates through a few different colors. I love anything that changes colors without being reactive. And here's Dark Storm Renegade Lynx herself. So it's not anywhere close to the other style. You can see she's got a mask, which also changes colors. So that's pretty sweet. She loses the Renegade Raider armor and looks more so like Lynx in this one. Page six is Omega Rock. Nice loading screen there. We got the final Harbinger. Non-reactive, it doesn't look like. 100 V-Bucks. Then we got the little long boat. Okay, it's invisible. Hold on. There it is. Little Viking tribute here. Okay. Apocalypse Shroud with selectable styles. <laughs> okay, so the, yeah, they definitely merged his cape and Omega's back bling. That looks a bit strange. I'll have to see that in game. Another 100 V-Bucks, and here's Omega Rock himself. So this is just his first style, wearing the Omega suit with Ragnarok's face. Then we got another loading screen with his full outfit on. The Winter's Onslaught. So I was a huge fan of Omega's pickaxe. In fact, I run it on my Maya skin. So to see it merged with Ragnarok's, he had a pretty cool pickaxe as well. This is not bad. That's pretty sweet. Another 100 V-Bucks. And then Rage and Rock. Whoa. Wow. Hold on. Let's see if we can see that for real. There we go. What are those? Masks? I think. Okay, then the frost burn. He had a big glider. Wow, let's see if it breathes ice. Come on. Is it gonna do it? Yes. Yes! Let's go! Then 100 more V-Bucks, and here is the armored Omega Rock. I bet you can customize his colors and stuff, but we'll see. I can't tell from this screen. Clench of the fist. Boy, he looks intimidating. So he's technically the tier 100 skin. And you gotta reach level 46 to get that, so that's not bad at all. That should be no time flat. 
Then we got some bonus rewards. Do the split. That plays the music pack song. I love that it's not copyrighted. We got more V-Bucks in the bonus rewards. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And then the Dark Storm. Back bling. This one changes colors like everything on the Dark Storm. The Just Desserts wrap. Okay, so that matches some of his secondary styles. More V-Bucks. Then the Scratch Mark Shredder. This is... Then the Scratch Mark Shredder. Does this one change colors? No, but it's nicely animated. And another Lynx. The Magmatic... Renegade Lynx, whoa. That is awesome. Look at the tail too. Holy smokes. Obviously it's paying respects to the Renegade Raider remix called Blaze plus Lynx. That's pretty sweet. Let's see page two. Ooh, we have no idea. Three mysteries on page two unlocks in 13 days. I wonder what that could be. Then we got the customizable Spectra Knight. So she's the lowest on the totem pole tier one. So they made her all customizable. You could change her helmet, various different styles. So you got to complete week one weekly quest for this. That's a bigger helmet, week two. One with protrusion horns, week three. And the ultimate one, week four. This is her default. Complete week two quest for this one. Let's see how that changed. So it looks like the color scheme changes a bit from this dirty gray to plain white on some areas. Not much change there at all though, except in the helm. So that turns to silver. And then the third one is complete week three quests. That changes a little darker in the helm and some other spots. And then the last one is strength. Now it's all that great color. Okay. Banner. So you can unlock banners by completing the weekly quests. Okay, nothing really special here. Interesting. Now, wait a minute. Why do I own all these colors? Was I supposed to do something to unlock these? Because I absolutely own everything, somehow. Let me know in the comments, does everyone own all these? Holy smokes, though. Look at all these colors. That's not the best orange. That's not the particular orange I would have picked. I actually like this color right here. But then we got Chroma, Galaxy, and Ice. Wow, that looks great. Okay, so I just double checked and it's 100% accurate. It says color options are unlocked automatically with the OG Pass purchase. So you get all of them instantly. That is incredible. So let's see what the secondary color changes. Hold on, let me pick... We'll just pick orange so we can see for sure. Okay, so it's the gloves and the under armor. And anything else? And maybe a little bit on the pants as well. Here's fully orange. Yeah, that doesn't look the best. But these colors look amazing. Let's see what the fully iced one looks like. Okay, I don't know, because the gold kind of messes with it a little bit. Here's full galaxy. That's pretty sweet. That one actually looks really good. Let's do fully chroma. Okay, that's not bad. So lots of customization there, wow. So you gotta unlock the banner, the pattern, and the helmet, but everything else is fully at your disposal right off the rip. And then we got the crew, okay. So let's see quest. We already got reboot rally rolling. And the rewards up here, a glider, a pickaxe, a wrap, and an emoticon. Okay, looks like you have to earn points again, do eligible daily quests. Weekly quests, we got five days until week two. Here's the Spectre Knight quests. And rank, let's see the ranked rewards. So you get dog tags that show your rank. That's kind of cool. Some sprays, some emoticons, another spray here, and then the battle blueprint loading screen. That's not bad. So you have to complete only 15 quests. That's not bad. Because last season it was 35, and the season before that it was 50. So it's going down. And Survivor Medals are back. Now, wait a minute. Is this the same reward? Looks like you only have to do six in each one. It won't let me look at the rewards. Because I unlocked the final reward last season. Does that mean... I wonder if this is exactly the same. We'll find out. And then lastly, let's look at the item shop. Oh, wow, look how tiny the item shop is. Let's go. 
That is absolutely crazy. So we've got the Nevermore Hearts Pack. Raven Team Leader. Plus the Cuddly Style. That looks really cool. I love the blocky face. Because it's kind of sunken back in there. The Brutal Bow. Spikes, it says. <laughs> Red Knight is back. Ninja's OG Locker Bundle. Bright Bomber Plund... Is this new? I mean, I already owned all these three things, but did Ninja have a Locker Bundle? Booga's OG Locker Bundle as well. Highland Warrior, Buckler, Studded Axe, and Petunia. And then Scarlet Defender, Recon Expert, Oldie but Goldie there, and the Cloaked Shadow. These are all OG skins for sure. Wow. And you can view the crew and the OG pack. I like this design. They took away my other design that nobody had, except for 10% of the population. These are called the OG Favorites. Wow. So I'll talk more about the item shop in my patch notes because there's some important information you need to know. So there you go. We got the OG map back. I can't wait to play. I got one more video to do before I can finally experience dropping back into the Chapter 1 map. Let me know in the comments where you're dropping your first drop. I can't wait. So there you go. Despite it being a smaller battle pass, there is lots of customization, lots of styles for all four skins, and I think it's definitely worth 950 V-Bucks. A nice throwback to a lot of OG skins. Love some of the styles and accessories. I think it's worth it. And not to mention, you do get 1,000 V-Bucks back. And please don't forget to use a supporter creator code. There's mine right there if you want to use mine. Tabor time. Just put someone's in before you buy the battle pass. There you go. Enjoy the OG season with the old school map. I can't wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor time.